We keep forgetting our power so quickly, so easily. Because you have been trained to. Because you have been trained to buy into fear-based beliefs that say you are not worthy, you are not deserving, you are not powerful, you are not confident, you are not trusting, you are not connected, you are out of control. Yes? These are the things that you are taught on your planet. When you grow up in your society, from your parents, your friends, your schooling. But when you become an adult, you begin to realize, hey, I was spoon-fed something that I can't digest anymore. That's not me. I needed to believe it was me for a while because other people made me believe that if I didn't believe that, they wouldn't take care of me. They wouldn't like me. I wouldn't survive. But now, you're an adult. You can handle survival on your own. You can thrive. You need to find out who you really are. You need to let go of the things that are no longer you, that supported you up to a point, but which you no longer need. You're carrying around, most of you, other people's belief systems that have nothing to do with you. Other people's baggage, so to speak. Your baggage weighs nothing. If you feel held back, it means you're carrying around someone else's baggage. Drop it. Find out what those beliefs are that are out of alignment with who you truly are, who you prefer to be. And when you bring those fear-based, negative-oriented beliefs to the light of your consciousness from your unconscious mind and really see what they say, the first thing you will notice is more often than not, they will appear illogical, nonsensical when you really examine what they say. You will see right through them as a lie. And therefore, as soon as a belief appears to you to be nonsensical, it's gone. That's the end of the process of letting it go, not the beginning. Because you don't hold on to anything that appears nonsensical. If you do hold on to the belief, that means there is another belief that is making that belief appear to make sense. You have to find out what that belief is and keep digging and digging and digging until you come down to the fundamental, foundational belief that is holding all the other ones together. And as soon as you crack that fundamental negative belief, all the other ones will collapse. But sometimes a negative belief, a fundamental one, because it is attempting to perpetuate itself, like all beliefs are made to do, may hide under other beliefs, allow you to think, oh, look, I discovered that negative belief, it's gone, now everything will be different. But you see that it's not. You keep acting the same way, keep behaving the same way, keep feeling the same way, keep thinking the same way, keep having the same kind of negative experiences. That simply means you haven't found the fundamental negative belief. Keep digging. Once you find that and see that it makes no sense and truly let that one go, then everything changes, everything shifts. Agreed, but agreed. You will find out, generally speaking, even though there may be very many specific ways in which this can be expressed in your life, you will usually find out that the fundamental negative belief is some variation of I'm not worthy. And yet, you exist. How could it be that you exist if you're not worthy of existence? Do you believe creation makes a mistake? It doesn't. Nothing is pointless within existence. It exists for a reason. So if you exist, just to put it in colloquial language, existence must need you to exist in order for it to be complete unto itself. Because if it really didn't need you, you wouldn't exist. Therefore, you are worthy by the fact that you exist and you don't need another reason to be worthy. If you start to believe that you are unworthy and keep believing that you are unworthy, you are arguing with creation about your worth. You will never, ever win that argument. 
ever because you cannot cease to exist. You may change form, but you, the you that is you, the reflection of all that is that is your perspective, your unique consciousness, cannot cease to exist. Why? Because, by definition, there's nowhere for you to go. Non-existence, by definition, doesn't exist. Think about it. That's the quality of non-existence. To not exist. It doesn't exist. That's its quality. So if you exist, you can't become non-existent because non-existence doesn't exist. There's nowhere for you to go. So you are worthy because you exist. Is this making some sense to you?